this is Adrian from Bedbugs Deadbugs here to explain Electrical Circuits 101. In your house there are three types of electrical circuits. There are 110 volt GFI, which are ground fault indicators. There are regular 110 outlets and there are 240 volt outlets. GFIs are wired directly to your panel and are usually located close to a water source like your bathroom sink or your kitchen sink. And they're to prevent electrical shocks. They have a little test and reset button on them. This circuit is wired from bathroom to bathroom to the panel. This circuit is wired kitchen to kitchen to the panel. Now when electricians are doing wiring in your house, they want to use as little wire as possible to save money. So they'll wire things in lines or in circles. The second type is a 110 outlet. They're located most of the rest of your house. So when you come across two outlets on opposite sides of the wall, they're usually wired together. And then they'll go down a level and wire two more together and then to your panel. This circuit is wired bedroom, kitchen, panel, bedrooms, living room, panel, bedroom, living room, panel, laundry, basement, panel. It's important to note that 110 volt circuits are usually powered off 15 amp circuit breakers on your panel. This means that you'll be able to run one extension cord per circuit. So you'll need to find at least four circuits to power your bed bug heater. The third type of outlet I'd like to talk about is the 240 volt outlet for your stove and dryer. These are on 30, 40 or 50 amp breakers depending on how your, when your house was built. To use the 240 volt outlets in your kitchen or laundry room, you will need a power converter, which we can supply. Our 240 volts are wired directly to the panel. Stove to the panel, dryer to the panel. I hope you found this video helpful, but please don't hesitate to give me a call I'm Adrian at Bed Bugs Dead Bugs, here to answer all your questions regarding bed bugs and electric heat treatment.